And welcome everybody to another edition of the GSMC Football Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. As always, I'm your host, Kenneth Grunfelder, and it's great to have you guys here on this Monday, February 5th. We have a lot to talk about on the show today. As always, before I get into that, I just want to remind you guys to tip or donate and get your comments recognized. Make sure to go to the following link that is streamelements.com slash GSMC Sports Network dot slash tip. Again, that really helps the show, makes the show more interactive between myself, the host, and you guys, the viewers. Again, that is streamelements.com slash GSMC Sports Network dot slash tip. And as always, it is displayed on the ticker on the bottom of the show segment down below. So with that being said, let's get right into what we are going to talk about for today. Uh, so we'll start off the show. I'll give you my thoughts on the Pro Bowl um, and also talk about the start of Super Bowl week as we uh, we're uh, now uh, narrowing it down. Um, media media week is this week as well. Um, so obviously we'll talk about that, um, you know, uh, with some of the players interviews throughout the week. So, um, you know, we'll get into that really exciting stuff coming up. Um, then in the second part of the show, I'll talk about um, an article that I was reading on uh, Bleacher Report talking about why Belichick didn't get a job uh, this year. Um, so, well, going into the 2024 season, so we'll get into that. Uh, then in the third part of the show, we'll talk about some other coaching changes. Also talking about Cliff Kingsbury backing out of the Raiders offensive coordinator job and joining the Washington Commanders instead. So I'll get into that. And then the final part of the show, another thing I saw um, is the Bears might be keeping the number one overall pick and not trading it. So what does that mean? What does that mean for Justin Fields? So we'll get into that uh, in the final part of the show. So let's get right into the first topic, which is talking about uh, the Pro Bowl and um, the start of Super Bowl week. So I'll be honest, did not watch the Pro Bowl. Did not watch it. Um, now you're probably saying, well, why are you giving your thoughts on it? Well, you know, I mean, you know, looking at social media and looking at, you know, some of the highlights and, you know, what happened. Um, it, it seems like a lot of people like this new format. Um, and the flag football game, I mean, it was, you know, I mean, again, like the Pro Bowl wasn't about defense. But, um, yeah, it was a very high scoring game. Final score was 64-59. Uh, the NFC got the win. Baker Mayfield, I saw won the uh, offensive player of the game. Uh, he went 9 of 13 for 102 yards and two touchdowns. Um, so I'd love to see that. And also Eli Manning now has beaten Peyton Manning two years in a row um, since they started this new format. Um, but, you know, I mean, with that combined with the skills challenge, it's, you know, it, the NFL is trying to keep fans engaged. And I guess, I mean, for what I'm seeing on social media, you know, it, it seems like a lot of people like this format. So I guess you ride with it. I mean, I love that it's Peyton Manning and Eli Manning coaching uh, – the uh, the conferences, um, you know, and I mean, let's be honest, the, the Pro Bowl, how it was the traditional way, you know, I mean, there were a couple of years where it it was it was fun. I I thought when they did the fantasy draft, and you had two Hall of Famers, you know, coaching both sides, I I, I thought that was cool, um, but you know, again, they stopped doing that, then they went back to the traditional way, and it's just it's just boring, you know, so. Um, you know, it, it's, it's something different and you know what, it, it's been getting, I guess it's been getting positive feedback, you know, but again, not my, not my taste. I, I don't really, I mean, I was out yesterday, so I wasn't, you know, I wasn't locked into this, but you know, I, I thought, you know, just giving my thoughts on it, um, from what I saw. Um, but yeah, I mean, listen, if, if the players like it, that's the other thing too. I mean, the players seem to enjoy it. Um, so I guess, you know what, they got to keep rocking with this and um yeah I, but again it's not something i mean again i was out yesterday i mean i probably would have flipped it on if you know it was uh it, it you know if i was home but you know i'm not locked into it because you know it's got no meaning um but yeah i, I mean listen if like i said if the players like it i guess you got to keep riding with it you know so um yeah so pro bowl is done and now we move to Super Bowl week and listen I'm excited I'm excited I know a lot of people are complaining which is gonna happen um, but listen at the end of the day I'm hoping it's a good game that's really what it comes down to but yeah both teams they arrived in Vegas um, you know a couple of uh, 
things to talk about. Uh, I know Travis Kelsey, he was praising uh, George Kittle, to tell, saying that he was the, uh, the best tight end in the game, um, which a lot of people I know were saying, like, that's, you know, you're just saying that you think you're the tight, best tight end, but you're not saying it. But you know what? These are two of the best tight ends in the NFL. Top five tight ends in the NFL. Um, top three, you know, if, you, you know. Um, obviously, George Kittle actually was relatively healthy this year. I mean, he's been banged up a lot over the course of his career. Travis Kelsey was banged up this year, but, you know, he gutted it out. Um, you know, that that's, uh, you know, it's nice that we still have them, you know, playing in the league, of course. Um because obviously, when Gronk retired, you know, uh, tight end university took a big hit. But you know, you got those two guys, and you also got obviously Sam Laporta with the Lions now, who had a you know great rookie season. Um, Mark Andrews as well when he's healthy. Uh, T.J. Hawkinson. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of good tight ends in the NFL, and these are these are the top. Uh, you know, top three. You know, some of the top three right here: Kelsey and Kittle. Um, you know. So, uh, you know, talking about that, um, like I said, we're going to touch upon, uh, you know, media week when these, uh, you know, these players are getting interviewed and what they have to say. Um, you know, obviously I want to save till the end of the week to, you know, preview the game. I mean, it's, and it's hard to do that because we've had like two weeks now to, you know, talk about it. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're going to keep talking about it because, uh, you know, once we get to the off season, then it's all off season stuff. So um, you know, I, again, I'm excited for this game. I, I'm hoping it's good. I'm just a little nervous just because of how the 49ers have started off on offense these last two weeks. Also, actually, another thing I saw, uh, Steve Wilkes was not happy with the performance of the defense. Um, you know, and him and Kyle Shanahan talking about the effort and, you know, people point to the Jameer Gibbs rushing touchdown in the championship game where Chase Young looked like he was, like, not trying on that play, you know, didn't even make an effort to try to tackle Jameer Gibbs. Listen, you're not going to be able to do that against the Chiefs. Like, I, I really do think that if the 49ers fall behind against the Chiefs, that I don't think they're coming back. Now, the last couple of weeks, they, you know, the first two playoff games, they've proved, the, proved us wrong, you know, came back against the Packers, and then you came back from an even bigger, de an even bigger deficit against the Lions. Um, but against the Chiefs, I don't know if you're going to be able to do that, you know, because uh, the Chiefs really don't blow leads. Now, the one lead I think about is the championship game from a couple of years ago when they lost to Joe Burrow and Arrowhead. Um, but I, I don't think they, they are going to do that. So the 49ers, they have to, you know, and I think they, they'll, be, they'll be prepared for this game. It's just it's going to be tough to stop Mahomes, you know, because if they can't get pressure, um, which is something that's kind of been a problem. And, and you know, they were talking about it on the broadcast uh, during the championship game. Um, you know, Mahomes is going to pick them apart um, because their secondary is not that good, you know. Um, so it, it's really important that they get pressure and they try to get after him. Because, I, mean, look, look, I mean, look at the Ravens' defense. They, they you know, they, they did get to him later in the game, but um, it's hard. It's hard to get Mahomes down. So... Um, you know, they're going to have to get him off his spot somehow. Um, you know, so we'll see. I mean, I mean, last year they played against him and Mahomes threw for over 400 yards. So, um, it, it is going to be a tough game. That's getting pressure is, is a must in this game for the Niners, but they also have to, again, they can't get, they can't afford to get off to a slow start in this game on offense. You know, I mean, they get the ball first, go right down the field and score a touchdown, you know, set the tone. I mean, obviously, the Eagles did that last year. I mean, they scored a touchdown on their first drive, and then the Chiefs answered right back, you know. So, um, we'll see. I mean, you got to rely on Christian McCaffrey. The Chiefs are not the best at stopping the run, so Christian McCaffrey is going to have to play a role. You know, obviously, use Debo Samuel coming out of the backfield as well. Um, you know, there, there's, a, there, there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of things uh, that the Niners are going to have to do um, because, it's not, it, again, it's not going to be easy. You know, you're, you're facing the best quarterback in the NFL, and you're, you're facing the defending champs with an even better defense. That's what worries me is the Chiefs' defense is even better. And, um, you know, it, it could definitely uh, they could definitely get Purdy off of his spot and force him into a turnover, 
you know. Um, I'm more worried about Purdy, you know, turning the ball over as opposed to Mahomes, which, you know, is not crazy to say. But, yeah, it, you know, I don't think, I don't think Mahomes has had a, he hasn't had a pick in this, in these playoffs, I don't think. Yeah, no, I, I think, I think he's, he hasn't turned the ball over once. So, I mean, the Chiefs have as a team, but he has he hasn't himself, I don't believe. So, we'll see what happens in this game. But Purdy, Purdy against this Chiefs defense is going to be interesting. But, I again, just hope it's a good game. And, uh, like I said, I like I've been saying, I want the Niners to win. But the way the Chiefs have been playing right now, it, it, it's, it's hard to say that the Niners are going to win here but and, and it would, listen it would get a huge thing off of Kyle Shanahan's back because of you know the previous two Super Bowls that he's been a part of had double digit leads lost both of them lost to Brady and Mahomes and people are saying how the Niners defense from 2019 was better but you still have a major you still have a majority of those players from that Super Bowl um so we'll see what happens but and but look at the Chiefs they're different they don't have Tyreek Hill they're not going to be running that wasp play and Mahomes is going to throw a Hail Mary basically on third and 15 the, you don't he doesn't have a Tyreek Hill now I will say the receivers they've been playing well and also so I guess Kadarius Tony was uh, saying that they kind of altered his Instagram live to make it seem like he was, you know, talking negative about the Chiefs. I mean, I, I don't really know. I'd have to look into it. But I did see that he is practicing. And he did make a big play in the Super Bowl last year. He ran back the punt return, set up a touchdown. I think it was his touchdown. Because I know Sky Moore also scored a touchdown. But for me, I, I think Kadarius Tony should not play in this game. Because, you know, he, uh, he he's responsible for some losses this year. And he's also responsible for some Mahomes interceptions. One that was returned for a pick six the first week of the regular season. So, I don't know. I mean, maybe they, they activate him, but he doesn't really see the field that much. I don't know. The Chiefs have been in such a groove. You would think that maybe you should just not play in this game. But, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, listen, Isaiah Pacheco, he's going to be uh he's going to have a big role in this game because you look at the Niners run defense and how it's been the last 2 weeks. The Lions, they went away they they got away from the run. And I think if you they continued with that, kept pounding the rock, you know, maybe it would have been a different outcome, but for whatever reason, they just uh they stopped running it. But them and the Packers ran the ball effectively against the Niners. And I said, I'm like, listen, the Lions, they had Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs. You know, they're going to want to run the football, and I think they're going to do it well. And they did in the first half. And then, again, it just it disappeared. And then, well, now you got the Chiefs and Isaiah Pacheco now being more involved in this offense. The Chiefs' offense being different this year. Pacheco's going to get the rock a ton of times and i think he's going to find uh, he's going to find success against the niners run defense um so that's going to be a key in this game as well um you know and I, I think both running backs will score a touchdown here which is not really that you know again not that crazy to say but you know it just i mean especially with mccaffrey i mean it's like a lock for him to score a touchdown every week um and pacheco he has scored a, t a touchdown in every playoff game so far so right yeah I yeah i think he also scored against the dolphins um so again we'll just have to wait and see but again we're at the start of super bowl week like i said we'll talk about uh you know when the players meet with the media things they have to say um so with that being said though we're going to take our first break of the show and then when we come back we'll talk about uh, an article that i was reading on why exactly bill belichick did not get a coaching job for the 2024 season so that is what we'll do when we come back from our first break of the show. So stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. <laughs> 